neither rain nor sleet will stop the U.S. Postal Service. But what about wind? The wind can seriously impact fuel economy, which is why Chrysler is testing its proposed fleet of mail delivery vans in its wind tunnel. With this all-electric vehicle, based off the Chrysler Town & Country EV concept, improved aerodynamics can extend range between electric charges. It can also allow smaller, less costly batteries. A few small changes in aerodynamics can add up to big savings over the life of a vehicle. That's especially true in the case of a postal service vehicle, which might travel tens of thousands of miles a year. It's up to Tracy Schmidt to improve the drag on the minivan in the Chrysler wind tunnel. Aero at high speeds um, really helps fuel economy. The better the drag on the vehicle, um, your better fuel economy range. So on an electric vehicle, it would be extending the range of the vehicle so you can go farther without having to recharge. So we're looking at whatever we can do to improve the aero on the vehicle. The key to improving aerodynamics is to make a vehicle sleek, allowing air to slip over and around the vehicle without getting caught in a turmoil between body panels or around vehicle parts. The Chrysler Town & Country may not look like a sleek race car, but its drag is the best in its class and is better than many small cars. Well, today Schmidt and her colleague Victor Lorenz are creating small body panels called belly pans to try to smooth the airflow under the van. Victor says that the smallest change can make a big difference in drag. A 10 millimeter extension on an air dam sometimes will get you right into your sweet spot or it'll push you past it and actually cause more drag than what you're trying to reduce. And sometimes like up front you're trying to like reduce front lift and drag at the same time. You're, it's, you're trying, going for two different goals and if the right part will do both of those at the same time. And it's interactive too. You may make one change like near the front and then as the air goes off of that it affects the part behind it differently. So we usually look for like a full uh, array of uh, changes that we make and we try to keep making improvements as we go on. And if we see something that goes negative we still sometimes leave it on to see what the effect it'll have on the next part because the airflow is it's a continuous path all the way across the whole vehicle. The minivan sits on a rotating turntable so the vehicle can be tested in crosswinds. Today, measuring up to 70 to 75 miles an hour. But the state-of-the-art wind tunnel opened in 2002 can produce winds of up to 150 miles an hour. The $37.5 million facility has made Chrysler an industry leader in aerodynamic vehicles. With the fuel economy and the new cafe requirements, they, uh, we've, we're getting a lot of requests now to improve um, aerodynamics on all our vehicles. We're getting asked to do a lot because the aero is cheaper than doing some of the other changes. Get the fuel economy, you can get more fuel economy, more bang for your buck with doing aero. So with better aerodynamics, not only will the U.S. Postal Service make it through rain and sleet, but the strongest headwinds.